Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to use Gaston to earn you a lot of coins. Gaston is one of the best zooms in the game in terms of earning a lot of coins, so he is going to be worth it to use your skill tickets to level him up to skill level 6. But before we get into that, there are a couple of things you need to know about Gaston before we could actually go into the step by step process. So let me get into the stats first. In order for you to activate Gaston's ability, you will need to clear a total of 20 copies of him and this is a crucial key point which I'll get into later. The minimum score is 50 with a maximum score of 1030 and this isn't too important for our purposes here on coins. And if you do want to maximize him to scale level 6, you will need to get a total of 36 copies of him. That's assuming that you don't have any copies of him and want to get him from scratch, you'll need to get 36 total copies of him. And then the next thing you need to understand is what Gaston's ability actually is. And Gaston is from the Beauty and the Beast series, and the description for Gaston is that he clears a horizontal line of Tsum Tsum and makes it rain Gaston for a short period of time. So his animation actually comes in two parts. The first part is him shooting out the gun, and then the second component is that there will be a bunch of Tsums that will drop from the top. And if you have Gaston at skill level 6, then 100% of the Tsums that are going to be dropping from the top will be Gaston's. But if you have him at different skill levels, that percentages is going to be less. And that's all indicated on the bottom right hand chart where there are different percentages depending on what your skill level is. You don't need him at skill level 6 to do this, but it's going to definitely help if you have him at skill level 6. And some of the strategy to using Gaston is you want to use a magic bubble to speed up the zoom clearing animation, which I'll show you right after this. And the second strategy is to keep track of how many chains you're doing per ability. Each ability you should get about 3 chains, so just keep in mind that number is 3. And then finally, you want to balance the speed and accuracy. So let me go back to the very first key point, which is use a magic bubble to speed up the zoom clearing animation. And it might be helpful if I actually just show you guys what I mean by that, is take a look on the left hand side is when I am using Gaston, and that I am using a magic bubble right after I connect the chain. You can see that after I connect the chain, I pop the bubble and all the zooms dropped very quickly to the bottom after I hit that bubble and that's what you want to strive for. On the right is a demonstration of me not using the bubble. It takes a really long time for that chain to really complete. So if you pop a bubble right after an animation, it will speed up that process of dropping it down, saving you a lot more time. And time is key here. The faster you play, the more coins you're going to earn per game. And this doesn't just apply to Gaston, it actually applies to all the other Zooms. It's just something that you need to know about the game in general. Okay, now I'm going to show you in 4 easy steps on how to use Gaston to earn you a lot of coins. Step 1. Focus on clearing as many Gastones as fast as possible to activate his ability right off the bat. So at the very beginning, you just want to clear as many as possible to activate the ability. The more ability you have, the more coins you're going to earn, so just focus on that for step 1. Step 2. Remember earlier I told you that you need to get 20 Gastones to activate his ability? That's going to be something you need to know here. And keep in mind that during the animation, you should be able to get in between 3 to 4 chains at the very beginning of the ability. So let me slow it down here and walk you through it, because everything happens very quickly, so I want to make sure you see it clearly. So once the ability is activated, what you want to do here is clear as many zooms as possible. Get rid of those ones at the very bottom that's not gas stones. It's okay to pop your bubbles, just remember, keep one on the screen at all times. This very last one out of the animation is the one where you want to keep in mind, get at least 20. Uh, because you want to charge up your bar, take a look at the bottom left hand corner as I charge up Gaston for the next round. Once the ability is fully charged, I will activate it right away, and then this goes into my next step. Step 3. Keep in mind that you should be able to get 3 chains per animation, and you don't necessarily need to clear all of the Gastones off the screen, just do as many as possible. But the third one is very important, the third chain. So let me slow it down and walk you through it. The gun will go off and then after that, a bunch of zooms will fall from the sky. So you just want to chain this as fast as possible and then pop the bubble. Second chain, a same thing, chain as fast as you can and then pop the bubble. The third chain, you don't want to pop the bubble right away. You want to chain as long as possible and then let go and let the ability fully charge. After the ability goes off and all that zoom gets charged up, that's when you want to hit the bubble right after that. And step 4, if you really made it this far, you're pretty much in the clear. 
Just keep in mind that during each animation, you only get three chains. So let me slow it down for you so I can walk you through step by step. So again, three chains, okay guys? You gotta focus on the three chains. The first one, go as fast as you can, pop the bubble, and then second chain, same thing, fast as possible, pop the bubble, and then third chain, you don't wanna pop the bubble. So you wanna do your chain, and then what you wanna do here is let go, and then hit your ability, and the ability will then cycle through, and then at that point, that's when you wanna pop the bubble after the animation was activated. And essentially, you just repeat this over and over again until you run out of time. So the sequence should be here is fast as possible, activate the ability, and then pop the bubble, and then chain, pop the bubble, chain, pop the bubble, chain, ability, and then the bubble. So it's always on the third chain is when you wanna do the Gaston ability, then the bubble. That's the only difference. So now, as you can see here, you just keep this process going and you'll be able to get a lot of coins. Now, some people might be wondering, how do you get 3,000, 5,000? You might even get as much as 8,000 coins per game. And really, the part that part comes down to how long your chains are. So if you are able to chain really fast and very accurately and get like 40 chains per swipe, then you're going to get more coins. I wasn't able to get all the guest zones, but if you are so good at swiping and connecting all of these chains, and you get like 40 chains every single time, in theory, your gameplay, you should get a lot more coins than I do. So at the end of this game, I did end up with 6,505 coins, which is a lot for Gaston. I think the most I've seen was somewhere in the 8,000s. Of course, you could get a lot more coins. I don't typically use Gaston to earn coins. I use Jedi Luke. But because we don't have Jedi Luke released right now, Gaston is a really good option. So definitely worth it for your skill tickets. So try to get Gaston if you can. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful to use Gaston. What I'm actually going to do here is let the gameplay play through again with my step-by-step. -step, and hopefully that helps you guys out. So just focus on the step-by-step -step guidance and check out the gameplay. Slow it down, pause it, whatever you need to learn. So if you are someone who used Gaston already and found some success, leave some tips and tricks for the other people who are trying to learn how to use Gaston in the comments below. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you found this video helpful and would like to support the channel, please consider scrolling down and hitting subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.